Hi everyone, so let's talk a little bit about the Sense 6.0 UE. Now, as you might be aware, when we uh, get our Android devices uh, from any of the big manufacturers, what we don't get is a pure Android experience, not unless we buy that device direct from Google. And so we, in some respects, have to put up with what the manufacturers decided they want their device to look like, from a software point of view, at the very least anyway. Now, one of the things that has always been a major criticism, really, of a lot of the manufacturers when it comes to their launches, their skins, is they tend to break the design language from Android quite a bit and end up adding in new design language that doesn't quite mesh with the underlying operating system too well. You end up with things that, you know, in one particular app you might have to access settings in one way, and on another app it'll be a completely different and foreign and alien experience. And a lot of this comes down to Samsung, I am looking at you, producing apps without an idea as to how you're going to have everything fitting together. Too many different little developers working on things in their own particular way. Now, HTC doesn't really suffer from any of that to a certain extent because it doesn't really put a lot of software on its devices. So, what we have to kind of look at is, well, what have HTC done here from a point of view of Sense UE to kind of improve Android or to help the design language along with their things that they want to include. Now, primarily, everything here is pretty much standard Android, but reskinned. So when we actually come into things like our media apps, our, um, let's have a quick look at, oops, where's it gone? The music app, for instance, is very similar to the Android music app. So, you know, design language wise, nothing much has changed there. Same with things like calendar and mail. It's all very kind of similar. The one thing I really like with Sense UE 6 this time around is it's a lot faster. It still looks ugly, I'm afraid. I, I really dislike the icons uh, in Sense UE 6. I think they just look old school now. Uh, and in many respects, our design language has moved on when it comes to iconography and things like that. HTC kind of needed to progress and things have just stayed the same really there. You know, these icons, they've improved a little bit, but they're still ugly to look at. And in some respects, still not the right size. If you notice, they're all slightly different sizes. And this is something that actually Android as an operating system has tried to eliminate over each iteration. We have a globe there for a browser, which is completely different size, taller effectively than the camera app, which likewise seems to be smaller than the messaging app. And if you look over here on the uh, telephone icon, it's considerably bigger than all of the apps, it, uh, app icons. It just doesn't quite make sense and it looks a little weird. And it's just one of those little things that Android as itself, as run by Google, are trying to eliminate. This slightly weird situation we have of different funny sized icons. HTC kind of needed to solve that. It's a minor niggle. It's an irritate, irritant once you know it's there, um, but ultimately it doesn't impact massively on, you know, the quality of the device overall. But it's a little thing and I would love to see HTC kind of take the bull by the horns on that one and fix it. One of the things I do really like is how the app drawer itself works. This ability to arrange icons and to hide particular icons you don't want to see and your grid size and manage the apps as well, all from one handy location. This is something which a lot of the other Android manufacturers could really do with doing. It adds so much functionality and it makes things so much quicker when you're working in the app drawer, um, generally being able to hide the apps especially or access which apps you would like to uninstall makes a big difference to the kind of functionality and flexibility, how quick and easy it is to do things on this device. Overall, Sense UE 6 is a upgrade over previous editions. If you hated Sense 5, then you're probably not going to be overly in love with Sense 6. It's an improvement, but there are still some of those rough edges that I'd really like to see improved in future editions. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do please remember to like and comment. And if you'd like to, please subscribe. You can also visit our website and download our Android app. If you do subscribe, you'll be getting a daily dose of the latest tech news, hardware reviews, Android games, consoles, and basically an honest opinion direct from the UK. Stay tuned. Stay Androidism.